Championship rivals Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton banged wheels during a thrilling Azerbaijan Grand Prix, with both men unhappy at the others driving. Vettel came alongside me and hit me. He brake tested me. What the? But were they right to be upset with each other? The rules say the leader must stay within 10 car lengths of the safety car. But when the race is due to resume, it's his job to control the pace of the field, making sure he doesn't pass the safety car before it returns to the pits. Something Hamilton timed to perfection at the first restart, leaving Vettel in his wake and under threat from Sergio Perez's Force India. So at the second time of asking, Vettel understandably kept much closer to his rival, but ended up making contact with the rear of Hamilton's car, causing minor damage to both cars. I damaged my front wing. Uh, I think he paid a price as well by having slight damage to his car as well. I don't think it was very deliberate for him to brake check me. I don't think he's that kind of guy, but obviously that's what it turned out to be and that's what it did, so I wasn't happy with that. Drivers often weave and brake behind the safety car in order to keep up temperatures in their brakes and tyres, but the FIA stewards in Baku examined Hamilton's telemetry from the second restart and found it to be in order. However, they decided to issue Vettel with a reprimand and a 10-second stop-go penalty for this action a few moments afterwards. 10-second penalty is not enough for driver behaviour like that. You know that, Charlie. There were other sanctions available to the stewards, ranging from a grid penalty at the next race to disqualification or even a one-race ban, but it was decided this punishment, equivalent to 30 seconds of race time as a penalty, once time driving through the pits is taken into account, was the fairest, though Vettel remained perplexed after the chequered flag. I don't get it why I was done 10 seconds. I cannot recall somebody got a 10 second penalty. And he's right to find it hard to remember a precedent, as collisions behind the safety car are very rare. Juan Pablo Montoya and Michael Schumacher both retired after coming together at Monaco in 2004. And Vettel himself ran into Mark Webber in torrential rain at Fuji in 2007 and was ultimately given a reprimand. Ironically, Hamilton was also reprimanded that day for bunching up the field at the front. It sets a present within Formula 1, I think it also does for all the young kids that are watching us Formula 1 drivers drive and conduct ourselves. They've seen today how a mortal a four-time world champion behaves and I think uh, hopefully that doesn't ripple into the younger categories. I don't agree with the penalty that I got because if you penalise us or if you penalise me then you should penalise both of us because it's not, it was not the way to do it. Thanks to this latest punishment, Vettel is now three penalty points away from a one-race ban, thanks to previous offences committed in 2016. But it's highly unlikely to happen, as two points will be wiped away from the slate so long as he does nothing wrong before the British Grand Prix in two races' time. But whatever happens next, this chaotic race in Azerbaijan will be remembered for a clash between two living legends that soured their previously sporting battle for the Formula One World Championship. <laughs>